Hey everybody, it's your girl. <laughs> Nothing's impossible. 77, straight out of Brooklyn. Hey guys, I know I, I did a video yesterday. I posted a video yesterday about loyalty and typically I'm not really posting videos back to back these days but you know what it is what it is because when that spirit hits me I gotta do what I gotta do now the title of my video is I'm under interrogation today I was just going on about my merry old way my day as usual dealing with the issues and the and the drama and the crisis and the also the beautiful things that I have to encounter every day. It's not all about drama and crisis, but basically you get what I'm saying. I was just dealing with my day. So I started to watch a video last night that one of my dear friends, uh, 3LW TV, Lonel, Lonel, who is, oh my God, I love him so much sincerely. He posted a video and he went to a discussion, a, a, a panel discussion that Al Sharpton had put, you know, um, had hosted. Um, and he videotaped it. I didn't know that after watching that video, I would be so impacted by it. I was so impacted by that discussion that I had to do a video. Why am I under interrogation? Because of a woman on that panel, and you will see the video. It's going to be right in the crotch, right here in the crotch of this video. I will put the link. Please watch it. It's life changing. If you're really looking for some answers to anything, there's some nuggets in there for you. There's a woman in the video on the panel, the only woman on the panel, may I add, who held her own. Oh, yes, she did. Her name is Esther Armand. When that woman opened her mouth, the only thing that I saw was jewels and pearls and nuggets and gems and rubies and diamonds coming out of her mouth. That woman is a walking, talking barrel, a vessel of nothing but wisdom. She spoke about the, uh, she spoke about the legacy of untreated trauma. And at that point, I became frozen in my seat. I could not move. I felt like someone had zapped me out of time, out of space. Untreated trauma. And that's why I'm putting myself under interrogation today, guys. Do you realize that when trauma is untreated in your life, it takes on all kinds of different personalities and, and, and characteristics, and it comes out in so many different ways. Many of you, at the sound of my voice, have experienced, most of you, I want to say 99.9% .9 of us, have experienced some trauma in our life that was untreated. That was not dealt with. Maybe it was a child molestation and when you spoke about it, if you did, you were told, oh, hush, go, hush, hush. It's okay. Go, go, go sit in the room. Go sit in the corner somewhere. Go sit. In the Listen, it's okay. Uncle, uncle, uh, 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 uncle so-and-so touched you. It's okay. He, he loves you. He didn't mean it. And you know you were violated. But you were sent to go back outside and play with the children and keep your mouth closed as well. Trauma. Trauma. Or maybe it was that parent or that guardian that God gave rule over you, responsibility over you to raise you, to protect you, to nourish you, and they didn't do it. They left you out as a, like a lamb to the slaughter. And oh my God, the things that you may have encountered are things that you were traumatized by. Maybe you were traumatized by losing your parents at a young age. Maybe you were traumatized by so many different things. Oh my goodness, the list goes on and on. But it was untreated. Never dealt with. Even as I'm sitting in front of this video camera talking to you right now, you have not dealt with it. Can I tell you all something? I am a victim of those circumstances as we sit here. Traumatic things that have happened in my life that were not dealt with, that I did not, that, that I, even at an adult age, because it was, it, you know, 
the folks around me that I grew up with just made it seem like it was also insignificant. And what about this, y'all? When they say, oh, you know how many people been through what you've been through, and they go on. And sometimes they have the nerve to list examples that they saw on talk shows or they heard this celebrity talk about it or that celebrity. And they want to use that as an example to tell you to get over it. No, 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 no. Untreated trauma. Untreated trauma can make you become self-righteous, emotionally unstable, judgmental. And the funny thing about untreated trauma is on the exterior, on the outside, you appear to be so together, also perfect to people. Got that nice home, got that nice 2.5 children, got that nice car, you got that great occupation, you did all the things right, got the education, and untreated trauma is just all up in your life. Yeah, I'm under interrogation. I have put myself under interrogation because I have decided today to deal with my untreated trauma. What's your untreated trauma? What is it that you were told to get over? What is it that you have not dealt with fully? And maybe you might be like me. It comes out emotionally. Have you ever continuously did something emotionally and you keep asking yourself why or you have relationships and they just don't work and if and you find the same thing that you carried from one relationship to another and you keep asking yourself why does this thing keep reoccurring and deep down inside you blame yourself why can't I have a relationship why can't I be successful in a relationship why can't a relationship ever work for me untreated trauma I'm challenging anyone today who is feeling what I'm saying to interrogate yourself today Put yourself under interrogation. Only you know what that traumatic thing is in your life. And you know what? Sad thing is, so for some of us, it's many things, not just one. Because guess what? When one traumatic experience in your life is untreated, here comes another one. And guess what? We don't treat it because we don't treat trauma. We were taught to hush, get over it, put a band-aid on something that's can like cancer. Who the hell puts a band-aid on cancer? Don't we all know? For those of you that are familiar with cancer, it goes from stage one to stage two to stage three to stage four, and you know what the end result is. I am I am I am reaching out to someone. And for me with my videos, y'all, I'm always saying if one person feels me, just one, just one, then my job is done. Start treating that trauma. Okay, so it happened when you were two or three or four or five. Oh, so, okay, so it's something that you don't want to face. But if you don't face it, it is going to destroy you. Put yourself under interrogation today. And maybe you just might want to watch this video because it's very powerful. It was, it's life-changing for me. Guys, pray for me as I start to deal with my untreated trauma. And the funny thing is, before I watched this video, I started to deal with it. And don't you know, there's an old adage that says, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Let me say that again, guys. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. That teacher is life. When you are ready, it's just life has a way of showing up with the right ingredients for you to deal, for you to handle that situation. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Put your comments in if you feel like it, guys. Untreated trauma. Powerful. Thanks, Lonel. Take care, guys.